the man and the tiger. My brother, my mother nestled so fondly on her bosom, singing lullabies into the night. We played games around the house when she was in the mountains, in her rice fields. He was my playmate. He was my nurse. He was also my soulmate in a world where our young minds stretched imagination to a breaking point. And then we grew up, as all grown-ups do one day. Alas, he grew nails, he grew claws, he grew fangs, he grew tails. I scratched his back as he asked me to do, but my nails marked on his body the black stripes of the tiger. The Sangpo flowing through our gorges to the plains of India and Bangla, ride the wave of the Spiritus Mundi. There where the sun sets and the world ends for us. The lands left behind by it remain pitted against each other forever. Sisters against their sister's son. Sons against their father's son. For some reason or other, a mere flow of blood in veins or sharing a DNA will never suffice to call someone my brother. So the tiger stalked the forest and spilled blood to slake an unquenchable thirst spawned when the world itself was half formed before the first tunny hailed the eastern dawn. He hunted and killed innocent prey to satiate his ravenous hunger. Only he will know the one who swallowed the sun hole with his gaping maw. The addiction and urgency of the appetite. But I will rest on a stone, my chin on the back of my right hand, and lean into the future.